Okay, sounds like Sir Charles Barkley will be per perfect fit at fake news CNN. <laughs> South Dakota Governor Christy Noem is with us. Governor, great to have you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for inviting me. Let me. I, I happen to be a fan of Jason Aldean's talented, gifted musician. He really is. And so, if you look at the summer of 2020, which he takes footage from. We had 574 official riots. We had dozens of dead Americans. We had billions in property damage. And we had thousands of injured cops that were pelted with brick, uh, bricks, rocks, bottles, Molotov cocktails, and other weapons. Uh, so why saying in a small town where, where people stick together, this doesn't happen, why is that somehow a lynching song? It's not. It's a lie. It's a lie promoted by those who want to attack people who love America. And that's what Jason is singing about. All he's singing about in that song is upholding the law, respecting people, loving our flag, and loving America. We should all embrace that as people who get to wake up in this country every single day and get to be free. So it really is an agenda to destroy this country. And it's sad to me that country music has become a part of that agenda. I've always been a big fan of country music. Uh, it's changed. The industry's changed. Those two songwriters that wrote that song are dear friends of mine. I've known them for years. And this song came out in May, so it's been out for a couple of months. But they decided to take out Jason Aldean uh, with their agenda this week. And, you know, I, I spoke out on it just because I think people are getting persecuted in this country for their beliefs. And sometimes they need to know that we've got their back. They need to have some encouragement that there's people out there that support them and are grateful for them that they still love our country. I, I hope he takes you up on, on your offer and performs for the great people of your state. Um, I would like to even go and visit myself. That'd be a fun day. Um, but you, you think about fun. all the time and attention given to one riot because they could politicize that riot. You know, for example, we, uh, we have all these deaths of innocent people, many of the minorities in Chicago, New York City, every weekend. We don't know their names because it can't be politicized. When it can be politicized, we'll learn the name. And, and I'm looking at this particular case, and all of this happened in the summer of 2020. Why was there no committee in Washington? Where was Liz Cheney investigating those riots? Oh, exactly. That is the truth. Remember how they were holding them up as uh, people that were trying to promote justice and that they were trying to promote something as equaling the leveling the playing field? It was it was insane. If you will notice or remember, Sean, none of those riots happened here in South Dakota. Um, I had a very direct order with my uh, folks here on the ground that the first water bottle gets thrown and we are going to shut that down. That is no longer a peaceful protest. But many leaders in this country let it go way too far. People were hurt. It was devastating. But it was used as a political tool and it is still being used today to scare people and they are using fear to control people. Uh, they've done it now for several years and we've seen it blatantly play out across this country. Uh, people like Jason, people like uh, Neil and Kelly who wrote this song, they're not letting fear control them. Well, you know what? Those riots really happened. Those 2,000-plus two, cops were really injured, billions in property damage and businesses destroyed, and over mm -hmm. two dozen Americans killed during those summer riots. Uh, Governor, right. I appreciate your courage. Thank you for coming on tonight.